Welcome to Will It Work? I'm Kevin. What's the rarest game system I own? It might be this. Uh, don't know. I, I haven't actually sat here and thought about all like 400 some systems and asking myself which is the rarest. But in terms of seeing this one come up for sale, the only time I saw it before I had purchased this one was uh, on a Hong Kong eBay site and the guy wanted something around uh, $25,000 for it. So not worth it. Uh, I hope no one ever paid that kind of money for a Game King 3. So that's what this is. It's a Game King 3 and it's rare. It came out of you know Hong Kong I think by Time Top. It is in color. It's their color system. It takes cartridges uh, it has a tiny little LED screen. The cartridge port back here. It takes three AA batter or AAA batteries, and otherwise, essentially, very similar to uh, Game King One and Two. In terms of like screen size, I would even argue that. The black and white screen is a little bit taller than this one on the Game King 1. But of course it doesn't play color games like this does. Why is this so rare? Why are these so hard to find? I'm not sure. Uh, they're not impossible to find. I have one. But they're very rare considering it's a little bit easier to find. Well, you could pretty much find a Game King 1 if you hunt around those appear on eBay every so often. A Game King 2 is a little bit more rare. You might run across one on eBay. Uh, you can probably find them on some international uh, places um, and, and, and locate one. Uh, this though is... Uh, man, it does not come up. It just doesn't come up. It doesn't come up on... Uh, eBay Taiwan or eBay Hong Kong. It doesn't come up on Yahoo uh, auctions. Uh, it's rare. I got mine from a guy, a nice guy, in Spain. Paid a lot for it. We won't talk about how much, but it wasn't my most expensive console by a long shot. But it was expensive for what it is. Uh, but it completes essentially my Time Top Game King collection of having all three systems plus the handy game. Time Top did release a number of other systems that I've seen. Uh, it seems like most of them though are branded clones and I'm not even sure if they were released by actually Time Top, the official company, because Time Top went out of business and you know how it is with the aftermarket and Chinese companies and things like that. They may have put Time Top on some generic version of the Wii, you know, as a branding to sell it, uh, you know, or um, some of these Japan or Chinese clone systems, they might have just slapped Time Top on it, again, as a way to get some brand recognition out of people in, like, Hong Kong, or, or even maybe, you know, where these were sold uh, more successfully. But, um, whatever the case, I, you know... If I ever ran across those and they were at a decent price, I'd pick them up. But those are those are just clone systems. They don't play unique titles. This Game King 3 plays unique games that the company Time Top wrote and sold for it. And uh, it, I don't know why. I mean, maybe it's because it just... it. Listen, it sucks. And so maybe it's just because it's it's not a great game system. Nobody liked it. Nobody bought it. And it just, you know, it um, it vanished into obscurity. And maybe they just discontinued it uh, pretty quickly. I don't know. Uh, there is a Game King 3 that apparently was sold out of, like, Poland or Hungary or something. Um, which is actually, I believe, the handy game uh, that they just put the Game King 3 on. Uh, so they sold it in that market. Uh, but it's not this. Um, so I will show it to you here. Let me turn off the overhead light. And it has one built-in game. I do not have any other games for it. And the game that it comes with is rubbish. But here we go. We'll look at it.
Oh, the screen's blurry. Sorry, guys. I'll try to fix that for you. Hold on. So, I mean, it's a shmup, but, like, the frame rate is terrible. Music would get old super fast. And again, it doesn't have a proper D pad, it just has, as is typical, this uh, four button configuration, which works, but I find it to be. Not great. There you go. Just experience the Game King 3. Uh, yeah. You know, and I, I don't think like a lot of collectors go out and look for things that are not that great that are expensive. But some of us do. And uh, we add them to our unique game console collection as we try to get all the systems in the world uh, that were commercially available. And uh, this was a very hard one to acquire. Uh, in terms of handheld game systems that I don't own, or what I would consider a portable handheld system that's not a clone system, uh, you know, obviously, I, the Adventure Vision is kind of a hybrid. It runs on batteries, it has a screen and a stick, but it's also kind of bulky and large, and uh, it's more for like a desk or something, not to be carried as a handheld, but it, it, I would call it a portable system. Uh, so that, you know, of course, is one. And the last major American system that I don't own. Uh, other than that, like, I'm not aware of any other game system that was uh, with unique game titles um, that is out there, you know. Uh, not off the top of my head, anyway. I, I do have a list of things I'm searching for. Uh, but I think this was the last one I had to acquire in order to basically have all of the handheld systems that there are that have unique games on them. Uh, you know, I mean, some of those Chinese ones with the the sort of like cheap flash type phone game kind of thing that's on there that they kind of program to put on there. We've seen several of those. I mean, there will probably be other ones out there that have maybe different titles or an additional title on it or that kind of thing. Uh, you know, if I run across those, I get them, but nobody would really sit there and say that was like a commercially released, you know, major system or anything. It was just some kind of knockoff cheap thing that, you know, we look at all the time on here. Um, but yeah, I feel uh, I feel pretty good that I got all the uh, all the handhelds. Will I get all of the uh, classic consoles? No, no, I will not. I would like to, but there's just there's just too many out there that are obscure, and uh, you know the ability for me to get all of them is uh, is probably not realistic because they just don't come up for sale very often, um, if at all. In some cases, now of course, as we know, I don't collect prototypes and I don't collect what I consider to be like very limited run systems but otherwise you know the ones that are out there yeah, I keep looking keep adding stuff to the collection we still have a a good handful of things to go on this list but we are getting near the end of my collection uh, if you've been with me the entire time through this journey congratulations uh, we're getting close to the end of course new systems are released all the time and Sometimes I find something obscure and stuff. The list will then just slow down. So you might reach like a day where I don't post something new. You know, that may have already happened depending on when you look at this. I've been posting a new system on YouTube once a day for over a year now. And uh, yeah, at some point, one day will come where there won't be a post. And then you'll know that we're kind of at the end. But I will continue to add whatever comes in that I get that's new. That's it.
that's all I got for you. Game King 3. Little piece of little piece of history. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.